You know, it used to be every American understood that Russia, or at least the Russian government, was our enemy, right? You didn't have to grow up in the Cold War, just watch any movie from that era. They all had the same commie villain in it, right? That's how it was for years until the Cold War was famously ended by renowned pugilist and diplomat Rocky Balboa, right? But for decades, it was us versus them. I mean, hell, we went to the moon just to stun on their asses, y'all. That's how it was. And now today, you have American boomers who grew up during all that openly praising Russia out loud all the time. That's insane, y'all. Again, when these people were kids, Kids, if you so much as publicly implied that Tchaikovsky made good dancing plays, Senator McCarthy would materialize out of thin air and shove a band hammer up your ass, right? That's how it was. Yet now they're all over social media talking about how great Putin is. Why? Well, it's at least partially because Daddy Trump said so, of course, but it's also partly because they've identified Putin as being anti-woke, which is kind of all that matters, right? Sure, Russia has long stood opposed to the foundational precepts of our democracy, but these MAGA types see Putin over there saying things like, in Russia, we have only two genders and no black people. And they're like, say less, buddy. That's all I needed to hear. It's like, Jesus Christ. Nobody let these people find out that jihadists hate the gays so much or else things are going to get really weird over here. There's a few things going on with this right now. First, the infamous interview. Never thought I'd find myself rooting for Putin to hurl a journalist out a window, but then I watched him sit there across from Tucker Carlson's I just smelled a fart face for a couple hours, and I was just like, please defenestrate this man. But it didn't happen. I guess Tucker decided that lying to him and his legion of useful idiots would be better. So funny they believe what he said. He's, Putin's sitting there in this interview just like, well, Russia would never invade Poland. Do, do you have this in America? Do you do this? Right? It, crazy, right? Putin's doing that because he wants America to stop funding Ukraine and he very well may get his wish on account of the tire fire big top shit show that is the GOP House. House leader Maga Mike already said they weren't going to vote for more Ukraine funding because it doesn't include border support. What? <laughs> Y'all killed the border support that y'all also wrote. Like, well, I don't know how anybody who works with these people has any hair left in their head. I really don't. But yeah, they don't want to fund Ukraine. Again, y'all, back in the day, if Russia so much as made another country sandwiches, we'd send a whole ass army over there and just start shooting everybody till they agreed to switch to cheeseburgers instead, right? But now that Russia's invaded an ally, which just so happens to have once hurt Trump's feelings, now all of a sudden the party of hawks thinks that war is a waste of money all right. Also, Trump himself just publicly said that he would let Russia do, quote, whatever they wanted to, to any of our NATO allies if our ally was a little behind on the light bill and his supporters lapped that insanity right up like they always do. Y'all, now more than ever, I wish we could somehow take the younger 1980s versions of these present day papaws and bring them forward in time so they could whoop their own asses for somehow forgetting both that Donald Trump was nothing but a laughable silver spoon douchebag and Ivan and Drago was the bad guy. Jesus Christ. Listen, YouTube, to be fair to these people, part of why this happens is because of the bubbles they live in. They don't hear the same things about Russia I do, i.e. the truth. They get biased media, right? Well, that's, and that's important. That's why I want to tell y'all about this video sponsor, Ground News. Ground News is a startup and service that aims to combat media bias by adding context and transparency so we can all have better conversations. All right, I'm going to show you how it works. All right, we're on Ground News' website. They also have an app and a Chrome extension, just so you know. But I've pulled up a story here on Tucker's big interview with Putin, like we were talking about. And you can see on Ground News, immediately you get additional information you don't get anywhere else. You get the coverage breakdown, the bias distribution. You get a handy-dandy summary up top. And then down here, the articles themselves, you can you can sort them however you want to. And you see immediately, before you ever even click an article, that you get all this extra context and information you don't get anywhere else. You get the factuality rating, the bias rating. You get the... Uh, the money, where it comes from, this one comes straight from the government of Russia. Funny that it's uh, low factuality and right-leaning. That's interesting, I think. But the headlines, too, are interesting. You can sort it. I'm going to sort this by right-leaning, and you can see how the headlines are different when you do that, right? Like, see, again, the one from the government of Russia is kind of patting themselves on the back. How we got the ball rolling, right? Down here, Russia feared for Tuck Tucker's safety, right? Kind of framing him heroically. Meanwhile, if you sort it by left, you get a whole different field. Decoding Putin's obsessive ideas. Now, this says a high factuality rating, so I think they might be onto something there, but you can see how the headlines themselves give you very different impressions. You put it in right in the center, and it's, uh, you know, has a little bit of a different feel to it. Once again, I'm going to show you all another feature on Ground News. I get all the features because I have the highest tier advantage subscription, which you can get for 40% off if you use the link in my description. But the other feature is the blind spot feature, which shows you uh, 
stories that are not getting covered on either side of the political spectrum so you can expose your own blind spots willingly and see what the other side is talking about and educate yourself. It's a really cool feature, but Ground News is chock full of really cool features, and that's just a couple of them. I'm a big fan of this, and I think in this election year, it's more important than ever to try to add some context and transparency to the media we all consume, and that's what Ground News is all about. All right, there you have it. Pretty great stuff, so if that sounds good to you, just click the link in the description below to push back on media bias and try ground news today for free or you can get their highest tier advantage plan for 40 percent off right it's time y'all it's time to combat the bias and bs in the media try ground news today all right youtube and we're back listen another thing i felt these people love russia so much i saw a story on reddit the other day that said that russia's trying to make a little community just for american maga types and that is the most i've ever felt that scene from tombstone where it's just like well bye you know, or the scene from Willy Wonka. It was like, no, please don't go. Oh, God, what would we ever do? It's like, I've never wanted anything more than for these people to pack up and move to Russia. Please, sweet fake gay Jesus, if if Joe Biden wins this election in November, let them all take a pilgrimage to Russia. I just love imagining them over there, like, farming ice and wrestling bears and stuff, having to go to the gulags and the work camps and shit because they don't realize how good they got it over here, but it's all right because they're allowed to openly hate gay people or whatnot. I assume also they're not going to be, uh, you know, allowed to have as much of the shitty American beer they're used to. You got to drink some of that potato water. Well, I, I imagine they'll adjust to that, but the idea of these people in Russia celebrating real freedom is truly something something to behold that's what we've come to but again i think this is a sterling idea i don't see anything wrong with it whatsoever matter of fact i'm about to start a super pack to support it. i'll help pay for their moving costs we could all chip in i think get them some good luggage you know nice winter coat one of them bear hat bear fur hats they have over there we could fund all that i don't care get a go fund me going i bet it would crush two three million by the end of the week you know as long as they use it for that it's fine with me I'll sell my Jeep if it'll get four or five of them, more of them over there. You know, I don't give a damn, but uh, they should do it. They should totally head over there in November, if not sooner, and see just exactly how much they truly love it. It's also funny you see Russia propaganda videos about how woke America is, and it's like, ain't y'all have bread lines and stuff? And I'm not, I'm not calling that woke. I'm just saying, like, you really have time to worry about transgender people and stuff over there? Because I, I, I always see y'all, like, you know, getting drunk and jumping off of buildings and stuff for YouTube videos or fighting wild animals and things of that nature. It's like you got, I mean, aren't things pretty rough in Russia? Isn't it like a tundra? Aren't there polar bears and stuff? You, you're worried about what the gays are up to? It's weird, but you know, maybe they all deserve each other. I don't know. Anyway, best of luck to them, I suppose. Listen, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. I'm gonna put my, this is my comedy special right here. Check that out. You can subscribe to the channel down here. Watch more of these silly missives. And over here is the important one to me. That's TreyCrowder.com. That has my tour dates on it because I'm really a stand-up comedian. So come do me, see me do stand-up live if I'm going to be in your area. It would mean a lot to me. Most importantly, you keep watching these. I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. I'll see you next time. Bye.